Good morning, children. How are you all? I hope you all are fine and healthy at your home. I welcome you all in the online class of English. Children, today we are doing English Reader and we will be taking up Lesson 3 from your English Reader book and the name of the lesson is Little Red Hen. So, children, this is a story of a little red colored hen who used to live on a farm with few other animals such as lazy dog who always wanted to take rest. Another one was a sleepy cat who always wanted to sleep and sleep. And then we had a noisy duck. So, today we will be moving ahead with the explanation of the lesson. So, I want you to open lesson number 3, page number 22 and place your fingers wherever I am reading and underline the important words. Title of the lesson is Little Red Hen. Once upon a time, there was a little red hen. She lived on a farm with a lazy dog, a sleepy cat and a noisy duck. One day, the little red hen found some grains of wheat. Who will plant the grains? She asked. Not I, said the lazy dog who was sitting under the table. So children, what happened one day? The little red hen found some grains of wheat. So the little red hen took the grains and she started asking that, who is going to plant that grains now? So the lazy dog immediately replied that, no, I am not going to plant because he was resting under the table. Not I, said the sleepy cat who was on the tree. Not I, said the noisy duck who was resting near the pool. So children, the cat also replied that, No, I am also not going to do this because she was sleeping. And then came the duck and she also said the same thing that, I will not plant. Then I will, said the little red hen. She buried the wheat in the ground. After some time, the wheat plant grew up yellow and ripe. Then finally, what happened children? The little red hen was very smart and she says, Okay, if you all don't do, then I will do it. And what did she do? She buried the wheat in the ground. B-U-R-R-I-E-D. Buried. Buried means to dig a hole in the ground and then put something under the ground. And then the plant of the wheat started growing and the grains became yellow and ripe. That means it was ready to be cut and to be eaten. The wheat is ripe now. Who will cut and thrash it? Asked little red hen. Not I, said the lazy dog. Not I, said the sleepy cat. Not I, said the noisy duck. Now, the little red hen says that the wheat is ripe now and ready to be cut. So, children, as we can see clearly in the picture that we don't find grains individually, it is in a bunch and we cannot separate it by breaking into one one pieces. So, children, what is usually done here? The whole lot is taken into hands and it is thrashed. That means you start taking bunch into your hands and you beat it onto the ground so that the grains of the wheat get separated. So this entire process is called thrash. T-H-R-E-S-H. -E thrash means to separate the grains from the plant by beating. Now, her question was to everybody that who will cut and thresh it? Who will cut and thresh it? Children, who is everybody here? She asked 
द लेजी डॉग द स्लीपी कैट एंड द नॉइसी डक एंड ऑल थ्री ऑफ देम रिप्लाइड द सेम दैट इज आई विल नॉट डू इट देन आई विल सेट द लिटिल रेड हैन शी कट इट विद हर बिल एंड थ्रेस्ट इट विद हर विंग्स चिल्ड्रन वाई डिड दे डू सो because they were all very lazy they did not want to work whereas the hen was very very active and the hen never said no to anything she wanted to do everything she only asked her friends if anybody could go and help her out but nobody said yes to it so when all three of them said no to it then there was nobody else to do all the things so she said okay then i will she cut it with her bill bill b i l l bill means a tool to cut so now children as we can see in the picture very clearly that she has a tool in her hand children look at the picture on the top of the left side the hen has a tool in her hand c shaped tool can you see children she is holding the plant of the wheat by her left hand and the tool in her right hand so that she can easily cut the plant so this c shaped tool is called bill so she cut it with her bill and thrashed it with her wings who will take this wheat to the mill who will take this wheat to the mill she asked now children what is a mill mill is a place where wheat grains are grinded and then made into flour children do you know in the mill wheat grains are grinded into fine powder which is called flour and from flour we make roti so this was the third job first she asked that who is going to plant the grains of the wheat they said no to it secondly she asked who is going to cut the plant and thresh it again they said no to it and the third question she asked who will take this wheat grains to the mill not i said the lazy dog who was sitting behind the cat not i said the sleepy cat who was jumping over the bench not i said the noisy duck who was swimming in the pool now the dog was sitting behind the cat and the cat was jumping over the bench she also said the same as she was not doing any important work and then the duck replied the same so what was the duck doing again nothing important and it was just enjoying and was swimming in the pool so all three of them again said no to it then i will said the little red hen she took the wheat to the mill for grinding it then she carried the flour back to the farm then a poor little hen says okay i will so she took all the wheat to the mill for grinding and then she carried flour back to the farm who will make bread with this flour she asked then she says the fourth question who will make bread with this flour now her question to her friends was that who is going to make bread with this flour okay children not i said the lazy dog not i said the sleepy cat not i said the noisy duck then i will said the little red hen she made and baked the bread so again everybody answered not i not i not i when all three replied not i not i not i then the poor little red hen was so sweet that she did not fight she never even questioned that why don't you want to do she said okay if you don't want to do then i will do it and then 
what did she do she kneaded the flour and she baked the bread then she asked her friends after it was baked who will eat this bread i will barked the lazy dog i will purred the sleepy cat i will quacked the noisy duck everybody all three of them they were so smart they thought that yes we have not done any hard work and then we are going to get a yummy bread so everybody said i will so what does these words mean barked purred and quacked these are the sounds made by these animals no said the little red hen i will eat it all by myself and she ate the bread herself now the hen was very smart and she said no i have done all hard work by myself i did everything i planted i threshed and then i took it to the mill then i also made the bread so she finally said that no i will not give you anything i will eat it all by myself and she ate the bread by herself so i hope with this you must have understood a very sweet little story about the hen and the three lazy animals around her so my dear children it is very important to help others as i always say caring is sharing so moral of the lesson is one has to work hard to get good results now it's time for homework children read the lesson 3 little red hen i repeat read the lesson 3 little red hen three times and discuss with your parents thank you god bless you all stay home stay safe